Okay, I'm David. Uh, currently, I'm traveling around Europe uh, in my van, taking photos of my travels. My photography gives me like an excuse to travel and to do hikes and to go see things and it's a chance to slow down, appreciate the views and the small moments around me rather than my normal going too fast lets me see the beauty in the, in the nature around me. I've been really liking this song, uh, I think it's by The Slingers, they're like an Australian indie rock band called One More Day. It's quite melancholic, it's got a good little guitar riff and yeah, it's a good, good song. Oh, a goat. Like my spirit animal is a goat. In every way I am, I'm like climbing up mountains, just jumping from rock to rock. So if I had another goat with me, like we'd just get on so well. Like I'm on Instagram and I really should be looking at other people's work. But I'm just looking at people's stories. I just want to know what they're up to. I do find though when I have moments where I kind of feel like in a bit of a slump with it all and I just have like a scroll through like the feed rather than the stories, it kind of inspires me. But I don't think there's any sort of one person. Everyone's been hating on the new Thor movie. I don't really have that much investment in anything Disney does anymore. Everyone's like, oh, they've ruined Thor. But I just think it's quite funny that he's a bit of a joke, to be honest, I think. So I think I'm gonna go with, uh, with Thor. Oh, oh, favorite lens. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know this. So this is a long-winded answer. The reason why I bought a Sony is because you can adapt old lenses to it uh, because it's mirrorless and you can still focus to infinity. So I have a lens, Tokina 2.8. Basically, it's got a nickname. It's called the Bokina. And it's like a really old, just like such a lovely lens. It wasn't even that expensive because it's, it's from like the 90s. It just produces like the loveliest images. It's got lovely depth of field. And it's funny because if you've got the extender on it and then I have the adapter onto my camera and then if you're pulling the focus to its like shallowest depth of field, the lens is about like this long. I was joking to my friends that it's like me overcompensating for my photography abilities with like the longest lens possible. Yeah, lots. The main one was like a remote shutter thing. That was, I wanted to do bracketed exposures, but with a timer. So I bought this like shutter release remote and it, I've never used it. never tried it but like with a lot of foods i think i would like it if i tried it i just haven't yeah it's that like stubborn british thing when you're a kid and you're like oh that sounds gross and then you you get older and you're like oh maybe i'll try it and then you try it and you're like mm, okay yeah so you can find me on instagram david's travel project that's about it that's the only real thing. I, I refuse to go on TikTok, so it's just Instagram for now. I think my my favorite one, it's not necessarily like the best photo, but it was like the craziest sort of like circumstance of the things happening. Photo is in the back garden of my parents' home across the back field. It was just in the morning and my mum woke me up and she's like, you've got to look outside. And I look out the back window, it's like thick fog that's just bright pink like everywhere. It was like crazy. It was like, I've never experienced anything like it before. And yeah, I just took my camera, put some shoes on, still just like wearing my underwear and a t-shirt. And I'm running across the backfield before the weather changes. And yeah, there's just a tractor, so it's all there is. But I take a photo of it. And then the, the pink slowly fades to purple and then it fades to dark. And then the sun rises and it was just like, whoa, nothing I've ever experienced before. It was, yeah, it was, it was really surreal.